Good morning, everyone. This is our hope in the New Testament, and we are looking today in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 9 and 10, particularly verse 10. Um, but I want to talk to this one a little bit. Paul's setting a bit of a context here of those who preach and teach the good news, the gospel, that they are allowed, in this case, to collect their wage. This is how they make their living. Uh, and it seems very self-serving of me to be saying this as a pastor, but I think this is common knowledge to everyone, that we make our living based on what we do. Now, Paul makes the point here in verse 9, and he says this, For it was written in the law of Moses, You shall not muzzle an ox when it treads out the grain. Is it for oxen that God is concerned? In verse 10, Does he not certainly speak for our sake? It was written for our sake, because the plowman should plow in hope, and the thresher thresh in hope of sharing the crop. Well, here it's actually not talking necessarily about wage. It's actually talking about what is God providing for us. That God provides, but not just as a, a drop in the bucket type gift. It's actually, we put our element of work into it. And then God gives and blesses when we followed his will. So when we put our hope in God and his provision follows, then we have something to give God glory in. We have something to share the good news of the gospel in. That's something that we can celebrate. We put our hope in God and in his provision. Now in this time right now where we're potentially looking at even further lockdown issues or different restrictions, we need to keep our eyes focused on Jesus. We need to keep our eyes focused on God's provision. What has he given us? Don't worry about so much about what he's taken, what, what has been taken from us, but what has God given us? We now have opportunity to connect with one another like we haven't connected before. We get to call people. We get to send emails. We get to, to do Zoom calls or FaceTime. We actually get to focus on one another rather than the busyness. I hope you take advantage of that today. I hope that this has been encouraging to you. Have a great day.